Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and this is Swipe Therapy, Art Therapy 101. That is a pre-primed black 16 by 20 inch canvas with a layer of wet paint on it and some Decord Americana 24 karat gold added in a line and we're going to keep adding lines I'm going to shake our paint because otherwise the flow troll goes to the surface. Never worry about that flow troll coming out because I have swiped with flow troll before and it's not a bad thing. That was the green gold from Folk Art, color shifting. I'm just going to complete my lines across. That was a Turquoise color flash from Folk Art. I'm not sure if it's called a flash or not, but I bet it is. So this is an interesting idea I've played with for a, night, for a while, that you don't need to put all of your colors next to each other. Matter of fact, it might even be a better thing if you don't. This is an electric blue from Arteza. And I think I'm going to let myself double up of once, one in a while, once in a while. This is a uh, a neon purple from Folk Art, but I added iridescent pearl fine from Golden to it. And yesterday I just completely gave up on my neon purple entirely and added all of iridescent pearl fine to it and a little bit of Anita's white metallic also. I'm thinking that I want some of the color shifting folk art red in here. And I don't have any white. And I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. I don't have any orange either. But I do have this Decor Americana 24 karat gold with orange. I added orange too. <coughs> Excuse me. What other colors do I have, do I want in there? I don't have any of my neon pink from Folk Art. Let's see how I feel about that. Oh yeah, that's the one right there. <laughs> that's the missing one. Now anywhere I decide to start my swipes from is the place that those colors will begin to pop through. I have some Amsterdam black with pre-stained wood conditioner in it. I think I want a little bit more of that purple and I have another version of it that is the color shifting purple from Folk Art. It's not very different but it's a little darker and it is color shifting. Which reminds me, <laughs> I have some amethyst from Artist Loft. Which is yet another color purple. Go figure. Can't tell I love purple, can you? Oh, don't tell me. This is going to be another one of those days with a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Honestly, I'm fine, I promise you. All right, so I have all kinds of ways to swipe, but I kind of want to play with this one first. This is, uh, this came from the Dollar Tree. Baked with love, icing and fond fondant smoother. Easy to use, we'll see. So I'm going to put out I've lined my little tray with some cling, cling wrap and my paint pouring recipe, my, my cell activator recipe is right underneath the video along with my paint pouring recipe under show more. So I'm not sure if that's a good way to do this or not but I'm going to find out in a second. And now I've got this side I can use up. I was kind of hoping this would be neat. Now I've got the rest of that. What do I want to do with it? That's the question. So 
So that's my start. I want to take an oxo omelette turning flip and fold spatula and take the paint right off the edge there. Take it off the surface and use it. Maybe I'll just leave it in my scrape dish for right now. And then I'm going to grab a smaller card, I believe. Actually, why don't I just grab one of my new little tools? And a smaller dish. I really thought I was going to put a whole bunch of black out on that tray, but... I'm just going to use one of my little tools. I just made a video for this. I'm missing yellow. And I want some. And the, and the orange. talked about it and then I didn't do it. I got it. Ha. Ha. And it's clogged too. Okay, that's frustrating. Give me a second. I never used any white either. I hope this quad comes out easily and quickly. There we go. That was a rather large clog, actually. I might be tempted, very tempted, to leave behind some of my pu my pool paint. As soon as my paint got thin, I created a suction to the artwork, which was not my plan. I might just take this opportunity to put some colors over things. Like adding some white, maybe. Probably. I've got a smaller card. I guess that's something to be careful of and aware of, that it can it can bog down. I've got a little tiny card and I've been dying to use it. This is looking like a weaving to me right now. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm liking that texture in there immensely. Very cool. I do want some more paint over on this one end. Someday I'll figure out how to do this both in a contrived and a spontaneous way. This is just not that day yet. That is an object, not a bubble. I can use this. Do I really want to? I guess I really do. I'm a little wobbly, evidently. I want to try some of my white. Ooh, that was a lot more than I anticipated. Let's grab a whole bunch more black.
still like to drag textures through, even before I was doing fluid art. That's pretty cool. It doesn't keep me from wanting to, to play some more, but it's pretty cool. I'm getting some really cool textures that I like a lot. It's not keeping me from wanting to put some more white in there, though. Although I didn't get the cells I was hoping for, so I guess it's okay. It's not happening. All right. It is what it is, and it's got texture and character, and it's cool. I love you guys. There's over 93,000 of you. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for the um, compliments that keep me and my morale boosted. Keep my equilibrium. I really want some of that. I want some hot orchid over there, but I'm not going to use it yet because I only use this fluorescent pink. Do I have a nice balance? Good question. What is that? Is that a thing? No, it's not. Good. I should torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. That's a good idea. Pretty neat. Reminds me of reflections, but it, that happens a lot. I think I want... Pull that down there really want to just give myself a dip dish with some white in it and see what happens. I've also got this other paint over here. I should throw that in the bucket. I've got three minutes, so I am going to put some white down. I'm not sure I like that second one. Fortunately, I've got some black handy. Got a lot of texture going on. I love the, the look of some sort of fabric. And I am just sort of having my way with it. Yep, I like that. These tools are great. There's if you if you search tools, you will find videos of me making tools recently, and this one is among them. Grab a little more. Upside down and backwards. I'm trying to decide where I want to risk putting more white. Because I'm not going down to white because I haven't primed it in white. It's black. So I kind of, if I want some, I'm going to have to put it in. I hate eradicating the cells, but I love changing up the painting. I could do that with almost any color. Well, that's pretty neat. I really do like this. I don't seem to have done it any damage. So please check my Legalerist. It's my new venue for clothing from Montreal dresses. This is a new take on a geometric, I have to say. Thank you guys for all the donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. If you're somebody who can afford to help me keep creating videos by making a donation through PayPal, 
or Patreon. The icons are on my YouTube channel banner, and you will be automatically entered in my monthly drawing, and you can see the exhibition video that includes the prizes at the beginning and the end screen of any video. I love these little windows or these little keyhole spots. They're pretty cool. I'm not sure about that mark right there. This would be the perfect time to do balloon rolls. If I was a balloon roll person, this would be a good time for that. But I'm not, so maybe someday. It is what it is. I am who I am, and I love you guys dearly. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Watching my videos longer is the biggest help you can give me. I really appreciate that. My link tree is underneath the video, and it has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for students. Let me zoom in. There's some really cool stuff going on in there. Maybe I can even move my camera around some. Oh, we're within time. Cool. So what else can I tell you? I have two books, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities, and they are on the Amazon link, which is included in the link tree. And if you shop there, it's at no way to cost you, and it helps me out. And I really appreciate that. If you're looking for my email address, it is underneath Show More. When you click Show More underneath the video, underneath the link tree most of the time, you'll find my email address and my paint pouring recipe and my cell activating recipe and what else? Uh, Teespring Clothing is probably above above show more underneath the video. It's all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. If you have questions for me, please feel free to ask me. I'm happy to help you. If you need links, I have over 2,000 videos and they're organized on lists of 100 each and by topic and genre and I have them all organized, like I said, so I can help you if you're looking for a topic or a genre or even a specific video. If you have a, if you have a file number, that's all it takes in the search box. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Satisfying my need to be an abstract expressionist artist. <laughs> Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you guys. I'll see you anon.